Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss IEEE 754 double precision. So, in double precision, what we are having, we are having total 64 bits, and these 64 bits are actually divided into groups like the first bit. This bit is actually used for sign. So sign can be positive or it can be negative. So for positive sign, zero bit is used. For negative sign, one bit is used. Now up to this one, next eleven bits. These bits are used for exponent, and these remaining fifty-two bits are used for Mantissa. Okay, let me draw some more of this. Okay, so now we are going to see what's the process to convert a real number into double precision format. So let's say we are having a number 12.513 the same number I have used for single precision. So first of all first thing you need to see what's the sign. So sign of this number is positive it means the sign bit will be zero. Second step you need to find a binary equivalent of this number. So how to find binary equivalent? First we need to write the binary of 12, which is 1010, and then we need to see what's the binary for 513. So here I'm going to show you the process. This number is actually multiplied with 2, and this is let's say the result 1.026. So the this this digit is taken out and written here, and the remaining part multiply with 2 again 0 0.52 so before point there is nothing so we can consider 0 we will write here 0 0 0.52 again we will multiply it with 2 again before this one there is nothing so we will write here 0 multiply it again again nothing is zero so this process we will uh, repeat until all this memory will be filled so for timing we are taking only these four bits so the binary equivalent for this one is this. so the binary conversion second step we are done with binary conversion So the next one what we need to see next you have to perform normalization so what is normalization so normalization is a process of shifting this point this decimal in such a way that before this one there must be only one non-zero digit so if you can see here if I shift this point here after one so before point there will be only one non-zero digit so if you remember in decimal number system if we are having a number like this and if I write it in this way I can I have to write like this one okay because then in decimal the base is 10 and we are shifting this decimal in the left side of two places so we need to write here too. So similar way, if we are shifting in decimal at this point in left side by three places, what we need to write? We need to write 1.0101000 multiplied to the power three. So normalization is the process of uh, shifting decimal point in such a way that before this one there must be only a single non-zero digit. So now the fourth one is the add by 
bias. So in double precision, the bias of 1023 is added in the exponent. So what is the exponent we got? We got 3. So the number we have to store in exponent bits are 1026. So the one the binary of this number will be stored in exponent. Okay. So we are done with exponent part. Now what about mantisa? So for mantisa, what we need to do is just need to take this portion after decimal. We won't take this one. So this portion will be taken like 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and this portion will be stored as it is in mantisa part. Now if you can see these are only 7 bits and the space we are having 52 bits. So the thing is that this process we stopped in 4 step this process will keep on repeating until this uh, space in mantisa will be filled. So this is the process of converting a, binary, a real number into binary according to double precision standard. Now if you want to know why this bias is added, I have added a link to a video which will explain to you why there is a bias in IEEE 754 standard and that video will explain same for single precision. Thank you very much for watching.